hello fellow hams. This is Steve, K9NUD, with another fun-filled, action-packed episode of Cootie and Coffee, where I talk about cooties and I drink coffee. So one thing I've noticed, uh, a lot of sites that talk about how to use the cootie will often talk about always starting on the same side or always starting every character on the same side. And they're usually referring to the, the right side, which for a right-handed person would be the index finger. And I that didn't come natural to me, and I'm glad I didn't read that and try to follow those instructions because, man, nothing rhythmic about that. The kuti is, uh, above all, a rhythmic instrument. It is not a lot different than playing the guitar or piano or anything else. Once you understand the rhythm, the rest comes naturally. If you're already a musician or you have had musical training, you'll know that it doesn't come natural to some people and to others it's very simple. I prefer to start on whichever side you please. I tend to start with my index finger, although I've been training myself to start with my thumb periodically just to get used to it. So, for instance, calling CQ. So I started on the right, but for every character, the next available side gets the job or in military or sports teams, next man up. I don't want to try to start like this. Or some variation on that. That's, I don't know. I cannot imagine that. I can also start with my thumb. So it really doesn't matter which side I start with because both sides do both characters, AKA both sides will do long or short, dits or daws, as needed. And that's the only way it'll work rhythmically. The trickiest things people find are fives, so odd number dit. For some reason, I struggled with that and got past it, so. So it's that simple. Um, I don't uh, I don't subscribe to any other theory about cootie. It is whichever side works, because they both have to do the same job. Anything beyond that is just going to be way too hard to comprehend, and it'll make your efforts to become a cootie op impossible, in my view. Or you'll have a really horrible fist that you'll just shy away from using the cootie because of it. So anyway. Time for a drink of coffee and a hearty 73, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a, a great trip on your journey to becoming proficient with the cootie. 73. Dit dit.